Hello, this is Cho of the Shiny Colors Discord, and today we'll be taking a look at the main original game mode for Shiny Colors, Wing. But before we get started, what exactly is Wing? Well, Wing, as you can see, is a shortening for Wonder Idol Nova Grand Prix. Wing is a major stepping stone one must take before truly entering the realm of idols in this Idol Master world. The narrative of Wing follows the very beginning of each idol's career. So this is the place you want to be if you want to know the basics of your favorites. In terms of a general rundown, Wing is broken up between four seasons, eight weeks each. And you'll be working on building up your stats, gaining fans, and auditioning in order to qualify for Wing. There are some specific requirements in order to make it through each season, so keep that in mind as you play. Before beginning Wing, let's go over the basics. On the left here, we can select our Produce Idol. This is who you'll be going through the story with, so it's a good idea to pick whichever Produce card is for the character that you want to learn more about. But of course, you can learn about everybody over time. After that, you also have your Support Idols, which function kind of like equipment in a more traditional RPG. They'll join you along for the ride, and they have their own stories that they can fulfill, but they're not necessarily tied to your main character's story. More like spin-offs, as it were. Support idols, along with your produce idol, come with various abilities that will help you in making it through the produce run. The last support idol is your guest. The guest is here to provide you different stats, as well as some different bonuses. The major difference between your support idols and your guest is that your main support idols will join you on stage for auditions, while your guest will stay back at the office. So make sure to pick who you want to have perform as your main four. A good question to ask, of course, is what type of support should you bring? Since Wing is the beginner game mode, almost every support card has their own applications here. Naturally, your strongest supports, in other words, some of your most leveled, will help the most. But consider bringing supports that work off of the same stats. Using all three appeal attributes, such as vocal, dance, or visual, might sound tempting at first to make an all-rounder style build. But you might want to try and start with just one or two at first to make things a little easier on yourself. Now that being said, there are some specific support cards that have higher value in Wing than any other game mode, and these are the Audition Mastery supports. These cards help you earn more stats for winning auditions throughout Wing, which helps branch out the playstyle depending on the supports you choose to bring. You can earn extra appeal stats, or even earn more health or SP to learn more abilities. Once you're satisfied with your support layout, you can tap the pink button to continue to the next screen. This screen is where you can select your items. In terms of what items you should bring, most of them are going to feel like overkill. If you want to buff up the strength of your support idols, bringing items like the 283 keychain, towel, or t-shirt are recommended. These will increase the base bond of your idol, which can increase their damage and help you earn more stats throughout the run. In addition to this, if you're not too familiar with any of the particular commies of a character and don't know their story too intimately, you can bring along the Tried and True Notebook. This notebook can provide to you the correct answers for certain commies, which can be very helpful if you're not sure which stats you want to earn or which answers feel the most correct for the idol. You'll also learn that trends are relatively important in Wing, so you might want to bring along magazines to help change the trend. Random magazines will allow you to change it to any random attribute. Vocal will adjust to vocal, dance to dance, and visual to visual. Once you've selected your items, it's time to get started. Before we get started, let's go over some of the elements that you're going to see on this main screen. There's a lot to cover here, so we'll go at it piece by piece. At the top here we can see it's currently Season 1 and there are 8 weeks remaining. This number will gradually tick down as you progress through each season. Next to the weeks remaining we can see the rank that we're currently aiming for, in this case we're shooting for rank E, as well as the number of fans we need in order to reach rank E, which is 999. This number adjusts at the end of every week, so make sure to keep an eye on it in order to progress with each season. To the right of this we have the Stamina Bar. Performing in lessons or working jobs will decrease your stamina, while auditions will leave it alone. You'll want to balance working jobs, taking lessons, and resting to restore your stamina in order to build a competent idol. Below the stamina bar is the tension meter. This represents the idol's feelings currently, 
and normally starts at neutral. By performing good actions such as good conversations or fulfilling promises, you can increase their tension, making them a lot happier. Doing so will have some small benefits here and there. Next to this is the memory level. By fulfilling promises and having good conversations, you can increase the memory level as well. If you played the initial tutorial, the memory level is kind of like a big super attack, and does a lot of damage and hits all the judges at once, and can be very helpful. The higher the level, the more damage the memory of heal will do. The buttons on the left and right of the screen all have their own applications. The button on the top left allows you to double check which cards that you've brought along, in case you've forgotten what your run is. Below this button is the costume change. This will allow you to change the costume of the main character you're using. Underneath this is items, which will showcase any of the items you've brought along. If you have consumable items, you can tap the pink button underneath to consume it. If it is purely a passive item, it will be highlighted as it is here. On the opposite side, we have the home button, which will give you a confirmation if you want to back out of this current menu and go back to the main menu. And underneath this, of course, is the settings button to change any things that you don't necessarily want on or off, as well as any volume changes and anything else. On the desk here, starting from the right, we have the planner. Without tapping on the planner, you can see the current trends for each week. It does change every week, and most of the time will not try to repeat any trends that have already been used, and it can cycle between any of the top three. So in this case, we have visual first, dance second, vocal third. The next week, it might be dance first, visual second, vocal third, and any other combination in between. By tapping on the planner, we can also see our idol's current stat distribution on the bottom left, as well as our current rank, the number of fans highlighted in green, and the number of fans we need in order to progress to each season. This is how you can tell how many fans you need to get to the next season. To the right, we can see how many fans we currently have, which is one, and the number of fans we need to reach E rank, which is 999. In order to progress through Season 2, we would need to reach a total of 10,000 fans, or rank D. Through Season 3, we need 50,000 fans, or rank C, and at the end of Season 4, we need 100,000 fans, or rank B. Furthermore, if you're aiming for the true ending, which is the second good ending you can achieve in Wing, you'll need to accumulate 500,000 fans, or rank A, by the end of Season 4. Next to the planner, we have the Skills tab, or the Reminisce. By tapping on this screen, we'll be given a large skill tree. Both your Produce Idol, as well as your Support Idols, all have abilities that tie into different skills and different attributes. By spending SP, you're able to unlock different passives and abilities for your idol. Passives are highlighted in an orange hexagon, while appeals are highlighted in a pink circle. Abilities that you have available are dependent on the number of copies of the card you've pulled. Abilities that you do not have access to are locked behind a, well, lock. Some appeals and some abilities are locked behind commus, while others are locked simply behind the number of copies of the card you have. So always keep that in mind when you're bringing along supports. The more abilities you have access to, the better things may or may not be. To the left of this we have the coffee mug, which is our rest function. If you find that your stamina is low, or there's a week where you really just don't want to do anything, you can tap the rest button to take a week off. And lastly, we have the calendar. With the calendar, we can see all of the available options that we have per room. The topmost section are lessons, highlighted in purple. The vocal lesson, the dance lesson, and the visual lesson. The second tab in green are the job sites. The radio show, the talk show, and the photo shoot. All of the lessons focus on their primary stat, so the vocal lesson buffs your vocal stat, dance for dance, and visual for visual. The radio show focuses on building up your mental, as well as builds up your fan count a significant amount. The talk show focuses primarily on SP and fan count, and the photo shoot is primarily fan count, but also costs significantly less stamina. Lessons have their own amount of stamina cost, as well as job sites. Jobs are typically more demanding, and therefore need a little more stamina to perform in. Lastly, the pink tab, unique to Wing, are the auditions. There are many auditions available each season, and the auditions will change with each season. Here we can see, once again, an affirmation of the current trends, 
So you can always keep this in mind when you're choosing which stats to build up, and if there's any particular trends you want to keep an eye on. Below that is the rank requirement, so in this case you only need to be rank F or a beginner idol in order to access the 1000 fan audition. Below this is the intensity meter, telling you how difficult this audition may or may not be. Below that, the question marks indicate that you may earn stats after completing these auditions, as well as the number of fans that you'll obtain for completing the audition as well. The higher the difficulty, the more fans you can earn, so it's a good idea to keep that in mind if there are specific fan counts you're aiming for at the end of each season. Also notably, some auditions will be locked away at first, and you'll only be able to access them if your rank is above a certain requirement. In this case, a 5,000 fan audition in Season 1 requires you to be at least an E rank, so you need to have at least 1,000 fans before you can take on this audition. Yes. Sometimes in the beginning of each day, you'll have a morning commune. In these communes, you'll have a limited amount of time to select a correct answer in order to progress with the story. Sometimes after a morning commu, you may be prompted to provide a promise to your idol. This is usually them asking for any particular lesson or some time off. Fulfilling the promise will provide you with a decent amount of bond towards your memory appeal. Perfect communications in the morning commus are new plus three, good earns plus one, and normal provides zero. Promises provide you ten, for a total of 100 points necessary to max out the memory appeal. During the run as well, you may encounter scenarios where you converse with your idol in some sort of situation, usually pertaining to the card itself. After every commune, you'll receive a boost to stats. Next, we're going to go over some basic strategies that you might want to apply if you're looking to clear specific conditions. If you're just looking for a normal end, this is the section you want. In Season 1, it's recommended to take on the radio show as much as you can. Not only will you fulfill the requirement of 1,000 fans relatively easily, but it'll also help you build up to an ideal 200 mental to go into Season 2 with. In Season 2, you'll continue raising your mental until it's 200, raising a main stat of your choice, and also making sure to attend at least one audition, preferably the 10,000 fan audition. This will guarantee you to Season 3. In Season 3, you'll want to take on the 40,000 audition whenever possible, and continue to raise your main stats. If you are a bit more of a go-getter, you can also choose to take on the unlockable 50,000 audition after completing the 40,000 audition at least once. This will guarantee you 100,000 fans going into Season 4, meaning you don't have to audition in Season 4. Otherwise, you'll go into Season 4 with 50,000 fans. In Season 4, if you opted for the 50k audition in Season 3, you can choose to continue to raise stats for the whole 8 weeks. Otherwise, you'll need to find time to earn 50,000 more fans in order to qualify for Wing. Wing is split up into two sections, the Wing prelims and the finals and you'll most notably need to make sure that you achieve first place in both the prelims and finals in order to pass Wing. It may seem particularly simple, but Wing is fairly straightforward in that regard. Yeah. 
Moving on to those who want to know about true ends, ideally in Season 1 you want to build your mental stat in the radio room as much as you can. Ideally, you want to be around 300 mental, in order to accommodate for some of the harder auditions in Season 3 and Season 4. For Season 2, you'll want to take the 10,000 fan audition as soon as possible, and continue to build up your mental stat and your main appeal stats. In Season 3, this is where things can diverge just a little bit. You can choose to take on the 40k audition, of course, but you may choose to take on the 50k audition for the entirety of Season 3, so that way you end the season from anywhere from 100,000 to as high as 400,000 fans by the end of Season 3. This is a bit trickier and may depend on the supports you have, so I wouldn't necessarily recommend it at first, but it's a good idea to try it when you can. Going into Season 4, you'll simply want to raise stats as well as balance out the number of auditions you need to take in order to reach that 500,000 fan count. And then again in Wing, you'll need to pass both the prelims and finals in first place in order to achieve your true end. True Ends can earn you 3,000 gems if you true end an SR, and 6,000 gems if you true end an SSR. So it's a good idea if you want to save up some gems for a pull, or if there's a banner that's currently on that you want to pull on. Never underestimate your supports. Because your support idols have their own stats independent of your produce card, they'll be providing a lot of the damage you'll be dealing in the first few seasons, as you build up your stats. Because of this, it's a good idea to try to see if your supports can kind of brute force through specific auditions. You might be surprised at how much your supports can cover without your produce idol to help. Speaking of the auditions, don't be afraid to look up information on each of the auditions. On the wiki, you'll find an audition info tab, which will allow you to show you that there are specific trends that certain idol AI prefer. Because of this, you can use this to hedge the bets in your favor, as idols do not necessarily change their preferences, but the trends may or may not help or hinder their ability to perform against you. Every single audition has their own AI patterns, so it's a good idea to look it up if you're unsure. And as always, if you have any other questions, and any other ideas to tips to give to other producers, make sure to leave it in the comments below. We'd love to see those. Otherwise, that just about covers it. Wing, again, is a relatively easy game mode, but it can be daunting for those who are just unsure of what to do. And hopefully this video has been helpful to you at least somewhat. If you know anybody else that's struggling with Wing, you may want to send this video their way. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. We have tutorials on the other game modes available, so make sure to check those out when you have the opportunity to. And we also have some guides to look at some of the cards that exist in Shiny Colors to see what they do and if they'll be helpful for you. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and like the video if you found it helpful. I've been Cho, thanks for watching, and have a wonderful rest of your day.